Elite Facts presents 10 more Japanese horror films you need to watch. Wow, the response to our first Japanese horror film list was insane. Thank you all so much. At the end of the video, we asked if we missed any videos off the list. Well, turns out we did. In fact, we missed a lot. So much so that we're making a sequel. Here's yet another 10 Japanese horror films that you need to watch. Bear in mind that this list is in no particular order. 10. The Curse, No Roy. First off, we have the 2005 found footage horror film directed by Koji Shiraishi called No Roy, which translated means The Curse. This film is a mockumentary style horror film that deviates drastically away from the typical Western approach of this sub genre. The film focuses on a paranormal investigator named Masafumi, who has become famous for his media work on the supernatural. During the production of his last documentary about a mysterious curse, Masafumi is reported missing and his house is burnt down with his wife's remains inside. What follows is the footage Masafumi left behind following his disappearance. It starts off with Masafumi investigating a disturbed woman by the name of Junko. This investigation takes place in her home, which is abandoned and full of dead pigeons. As the mystery is unraveled, a malevolent supernatural entity is discovered to be causing a series of terrifying events that Masafumi gets wrapped up in. No Roy is notable for its lengthy runtime. This is something that's not uncommon in Japanese horror genre. Definitely give this film a watch when you get the chance. 9. Haosu for this list, we decided to go for a few more older titles as the 1960s and 70s had a lot of horror to offer. The 1977 horror film, Haosu, is directed by Nobohiku Obeyasi and is considered a cult classic, with its more notable feature being its cast of amateur actors. The film centers around a young girl who visits her ill aunt's country home with six of her classmates and subsequently encounters paranormal entities, thus causing supernatural events to unfold throughout the film. Each character has a unique name that describes them, including Gorgeous, Melody, Prof, Kung Fu, Mac, Sweet, and Fantasy. One by one, each girl is taken by the house. The film features a ghostly antagonizing cat and a strange story with little explanation. Admittedly, Hao Su does have pretty poor special effects. However, this was confirmed to be intentional, as Obayashi claimed they were supposed to be campy. Hao Su is almost psychedelic in nature and quite an entertaining watch. Despite receiving few reviews upon its initial release, and what reviews it did receive were pretty bad, Hao Su gained cult film status, with fans praising the film for not taking itself too seriously and having quite a stylized look. In a way, it can be almost compared to The Evil Dead in terms of its effects and campy nature. 8. Merbaito Merbaito is a 2004 horror film directed by Takashi Shimizu. The film follows a voyeuristic man named Masaoka, who becomes obsessed with videotaping fear after he sees a terrified man commit suicide by stabbing himself in the eye. That's always a good way to get into a hobby, I guess. Anyway, he would eventually discover what appears to be an alternate dimension beneath the streets of Tokyo. He finds a woman chained to a cave there and takes her back to his apartment. This woman cannot eat, drink, or speak. The only thing she wants, however, is fresh blood. The film has a mysterious ethos reminiscent of something you'd expect from legendary horror author H.P. Lovecraft. 7. Kwaiden. This time we're going way back to the 1960s for this film. Next up, we have Kwaiden from 1964. This film is an anthology horror film directed by Masaki Kobayashi. The film is a mixture of stories based on Lafke Dio Hearn's collection of folk tales from Japan. The Black Hair focuses on a samurai who divorces his loyal wife so he could instead marry a richer woman. His new wife, however, is cold and distant, so the samurai naturally finds himself missing his old wife. His new woman discovers this truth, the two fight, and the samurai decides to return to his original love. Upon returning to his old home, he finds dust, despair, and a terrifying truth. The Woman of the Snow is a classic take on Yoki Ona folklore in which a woodcutter encounters a snowy ghost with sinister intentions. Kwaiden is definitely worth watching as it is a good old-fashioned classic that entertainingly depicts some spooky Japanese folk tales. Hoichi the Earless tells the story of a blind musician who sings tales of war and battle. He eventually discovers that the royal family who calls him to sing for them are far from normal. 
Finally, we have In a Cup of Tea. This story is much more meta as it focuses on a writer as he narrates his current project, which is strangely about a man who keeps seeing a stranger's face in his cup of tea. 6. Premonition Premonition is a 2004 horror film directed by Suruta Norio. This film is based on a manga by Kiro Sanoda. In Premonition, a teacher named Hideki Hiroshi Mikami and his wife Ayaka Noriko Saki are driving home from vacation with their little daughter. When they stop to use a phone booth, Hideki discovers a piece of newsprint that shows his daughter being killed in a car crash mere moments in the future. When Ayaka leaves the vehicle to ask for Hideki's help in fixing their child's seatbelt, the car is pummeled by a truck, killing their daughter. The two eventually divorce due to the tragic event, but the story has just begun. Several years later, Ayaka discovers an archive of newspapers that foreshadowed future events. Premonition isn't exactly a mainstream film as it isn't widely known among film patrons. However, don't let that put you off as it is a surprisingly great horror movie that deserves a lot more recognition than it's received. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. Make sure to check out the 2004 version first, though, as the film did receive an American remake in 2007. 5. Kaden. In the 19th century, the acupuncturist Soetsu lives with his daughters Oshiga and Osano in the Shimosa province in Japan. He saves some money, becomes a moneylender, and lends his money to the samurai Fukami. Three years later, he visits Fukami to collect his money. Unfortunately for him, things don't go as planned as the samurai ends up killing him and dumps his body in the Keisane Swamp. The Keisane Swamp is said to be a place where bodies disappear and never return to the surface. However, before dying, Soetsu curses Fukami, causing the samurai to lose his mind. This is only a small chunk of the story as the story goes way beyond just these two characters. To save you from spoilers, check the film out for yourself. You won't regret it. 4. Infection Kansen. We got quite a few comments in the previous video about this film, and in all fairness, we wish we had included this one on the original list. This film is just downright awesome. In a hospital that is close to bankruptcy, the reduced staff is working under immense stress in order to keep the hospital open. During an emergency attendance to tend to a burned patient, Dr. Wozumi, two other nurses, and Dr. Akaba commit a fatal error as they accidentally inject potassium chloride into the patient, thus causing the patient's death. Dr. Wozumi convinces the team to forge the report in order to save their careers. After the hospital staff buries the evidence, another patient turns up dying from peculiar symptoms, and before you know it, the doctors connected to the conspiracy begin coming down with a strange, lethal infection. 3. Carved – The Slitmouth Woman This one seems pretty familiar. If you couldn't tell, we've included the real-life myth in our recent Japanese Myths video, and personally speaking, this is one of our favorite myths to talk about due to how damn creepy it is. Anyway, Carved, the Slipmouth Woman was released in 2007 and follows the legend pretty closely. The story takes place in a suburban town in Japan as the town is host to what is supposedly just an urban legend. This legend is the Slipmouth Woman, also known as Kayuchi Se Ona, a woman's spirit with a horribly disfigured face who is intent on kidnapping children for unknown reasons. The film takes a more slasher approach than some of the other films on this list, and in all fairness, could have been a massive franchise if this film was released back in the 1980s when slasher films were all the rage, as not only is the story engaging, but the main antagonist just looks downright terrifying. 2. Jigoko Yet another classic film makes the list as we have Jigoko from 1960. Also known as The Sinners from Hell, Jigoko is set in 1960s Tokyo and tracks a handsome student in love with his theology professor's daughter. After attending his teacher's vivid lecture on hell and various religions, the sensitive collegian's life spirals downward. Riding with an irresponsible fellow student, they run down a drunken Yakuza, staggering on a dark side road, but they keep driving. The Yakuza's mother and his girlfriend swear vengeance. What makes this film so unique is its shocking and memorable interpretation of hell, as it's based on the Buddhist religion's vision of how eternal damnation is, and needless to say, it's downright shocking. 1. Anibaba, 1964 Finally, we have the 1964 film Anibaba. This one is personally our favorite as the premise almost instantly draws you in. After being forcefully inducted as a soldier into the war in 14th century Japan, his wife and mother remain living in a swamp. 
They eke out their living by ambushing worn-out warriors, killing them and selling their belongings to a greedy merchant. The woman comes to mistrust her daughter-in-law who has coupled up with a deserter and begins to wear a facial mask she has taken from a slain samurai. In this disguise, she is at first taken for a demon by her daughter-in-law. This film is an absolute classic. If you've not seen this one, you're doing yourself an absolute disservice. Check it out for yourself. Now, believe us, with these two videos, we've only touched the tip of the iceberg when it comes to fantastic Japanese horror films. Let us know your favorite films in the comments below, as we'd love to hear your take on this beloved horror genre. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more elite facts.